Hey guys, in this video we will be starting with a new tutorial series for JavaScript for beginners. So let us start with the video. So I will select a pen first and we will understand what exactly is JavaScript. So to understand about JavaScript, we we'll understand about JavaScript as a programming language. Okay, so JavaScript is something uh, that you might be familiar with. If you, aren't, if you aren't familiar with, definitely check out the coming tutorial series. So this will help you in uh, demystifying the concept of JavaScript. I will be covering everything about JavaScript and we will be making some small to medium scale projects. So as to uh, make our knowledge more constructive and we are able to code each and every thing we can also understand what data structures we can work with using JavaScript. All these uh, concepts are very important for tackling some of the most complex interviews with big companies like Amazon, Google. So we will be taking JavaScript and uh, we will learn it as a tool of choice and gradually we will master the language. So let us start. So JavaScript, it is a dynamic dynamic weekly type programming language weekly typed programming language so we will be going step by step okay we won't be missing anything uh, we will be covering everything so it's a weekly type programming language which is compiled at one time, okay? Which is compiled at runtime. So it can be executed as part of a web page in a browser or directly on any machine also called as the host environment okay so you can execute it on host environment so host environment so you can execute it as a web page or it can be a part of the web page or directly you can run on any machine also this is termed as host environment okay now in the past the only purpose of JavaScript was to make web pages more dynamic so in the past our main focus was on making web pages dynamic okay but now JavaScript is very much flexible and is capable of doing much more than making web pages just dynamic okay you can do anything with JavaScript uh, in 2019 so it's so powerful and it has come so far compared to what it was in 19 uh, 80s or 90s see now it is very much powerful it has come uh, covered a large gap and we have frameworks like angular react vue.js and more uh, plain, uh, tons of frameworks uh, that have come with the advent of this century and we are having we can make single page applications mobile applications so the scope of this language has increased dramatically compared to what we had in the past so it's not about dynamic behavior we can do anything we can create single page applications server side rendering is there and mobile applications progressive web applications the applications are limitless so you can do anything with JavaScript so in the past the only purpose was to make web pages dynamic changing the content on the page directly from inside the browser we were able to do that in the past originally it was called as live script the name of the language was live script originally so but due to immense popularity of Java at the time Java was introduced, uh, this language came to be known as JavaScript. Okay, just because of popularity of Java, 
the language uh, with uh, which we are working on this tutorial came to be known as JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript and Java are totally independent languages. They are not the same thing. Please keep that in mind. Also, if you had a misunderstanding that these two were uh, that these two languages, Java and JavaScript, were one and the same thing, then I would like to tell you that JavaScript is totally independent. I again repeat, it's totally independent from Java and it has nothing in common with Java. Now let us discuss about how web pages work in JavaScript or in the browser land. How web pages work. Okay, so this is a very important question that you need to understand. So suppose you are a user. Okay, you are a user, you are visiting a web page. And when you do visit a certain web page, you use a browser for that. Okay, so suppose this is your computer and you are running Google Chrome on this. So for uh, Google Chrome, I'm using abbreviation GC. And uh, we are visiting a web page and you do visit a certain web page on your browser. So this is your browser window. You're visiting a certain web page. You use your machine, which is your laptop. It can be your laptop. Or it can be your desktop. So basically it's your client where you have the browser installed on your system. You enter a URL. So in the URL bar, which is there on your browser, you enter a certain URL, say HTTPS and some website, some domain name .com. So this is the URL that you are interested in visiting. You use your machine as a client where you have a browser installed. Now you are entering this URL and on a search result or you uh, may click on a search result in Google. You may search for something, then you will get a URL there and you can uh, load the web page from there. To be precise, when you initially visit a web page, so suppose you visit a web page, okay? So you are making a request to a server that is sitting at some remote location of the world. You are making a request to the server means to a computer that is sitting remotely on some location of the world on the internet where that web page, the HTML file uh, that is hosted. Okay, so HTML files are there with the server and you want to fetch those HTML files for that you are making a request to the server. The server has all your files and then what will happen is the request will hit this server the html files are there with the server and then that web server will load your web page and it will send it back to your browser so it will send it back to your browser which you are running on your machine as response okay this is very important to understand how web pages work in the web development world so the web server loads the web page sends it back to a browser in form of something called as response so this is your request response cycle which actually happens and uh, the part uh, that is at the back end is called the server side which you can also term as server side development you can code your own servers using something called as node.js you will be able to make node.js i'm currently working on these tutorials i have added some uh, node.js tutorials as well definitely check out that the link for those is down below and the client on the client you can uh, develop client side applications using vanilla javascript or the frameworks like angular react view so this is all the endless capabilities that javascript offers you so with javascript you can handle the entire full stack application using just a single programming language so uh, where were we okay so we send a response back to the client now let us say it is a bank form okay so where uh, the user is presented with a, a bank form the server gave you a bank form okay so user will fill the details and will ask for a loan so it was a loan form of the bank and on that form the user uh, suppose this is your form it basically has certain fields, 
pertaining to the loan that you are requesting for okay and then you have a uh, something as a submit button so you can say submit button so here we have a submit button on our form when you click on this button what will happen is when the user clicks on the button you want to submit the form this will then trigger a new request a new request you are making uh, you are making that from your browser to the server and the server will then handle the incoming request it will basically accept the request body that you're sending to the server will then process it and then once it is done it will serve back the response with a web page with a new html document that gets sent back to the client so this is how you interact with the web this is how the web pages traditionally work the javascript helps us make this more reactive and skip that second request response flow in some circumstances as well to instead change the already loaded page and do something there so this is all about the introductory videos guys so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video if you are loving the content do subscribe to the channel and that's it for this video we will be uh, working on an example on javascript so i will show you what are the endless applications you can tap to create user interfaces of your choice so i will see you guys in the next video